What advice do you have for teachers about teaching listening? So there are many possible things that I could talk about, but I, I've focused on just a few here. First, it is important that students learn to use as many visual, as many cues as possible when trying to understand. These include not only audio cues, but visual ones as well. So anything in the listening context or environment that will help the student to understand better, they need to be taught how to use these things. Second, students need to learn how to adapt to a given speech variety. In our diverse world, we encounter numerous speech varieties. Being able to adapt to a speaker's variety is very important. And what this means is that we should provide students with access to diverse speech varieties in our classes. Students should be given opportunities to listen to each other as well as to the teacher and audio visual um, materials with a variety of speakers. Otherwise, they're not, they may be able to listen and understand just one particular speech variety. It's not going to help them in the world, the diverse world that we live in now. And the third thing that I'd like to mention here is that teachers need to try to select materials that are of interest to students. So this can encourage students to try to listen to such materials outside of the classroom and this is going to help them to be successful learners. So if, a, if we can engage students in things that they're interested in, this is going to help us as they then will take that outside the classroom and they're going to be learning a lot more when they become motivated to uh, listen on their own. Professor Oki advised that students should be taught to use as many cues as possible to help them listen, the audio and the visual cues. There's a lot going on, especially when watching a video or, t or talking to someone, that can help students to understand some of the main ideas. Understanding the main ideas, in turn, helps to make sense of the details. He also advised that we need to provide students with many different diverse speech varieties in class. And again, we need to point out to students what some of the differences are in different speech varieties. This is not something that they will necessarily recognize on their own. The different speech varieties are something that they will come into contact with. A variety of English language media is available to them today. And another good piece of advice was that teachers should try to increase the student's motivation for listening by choosing interesting materials, by encouraging listening to English outside the class, and by showing students how to find materials to do so. All of this, of course, is possible when students have access to the Internet. Professor Oki has provided a strong case for the need to teach listening skills to students of English. But teaching listening is hard, and we need all the help we can get. Fortunately, technology today provide some resources that make teaching listening a lot easier here and a lot more visual, regardless where you are around the world. Let's look at four ways that technology can help. The first is to introduce students to opportunities to listen on the internet sites such as Voice of America. Voice of America, as I pointed out earlier, contains all interesting news stories that are presented in a way that is accessible to English language learners, and it provides a great resource for teachers to work with as well. Second, technology allows us to create lessons focused on short lectures from, for example, TED-Ed or the TED Talks website. And we're going to take a look at that website in detail in a few minutes. This is a great resource. Third, Teachers need to teach students how to become interested in listening to English. It is very important that students get a lot of practice listening to English outside of the classroom. And then fourth, teachers can encourage students to use the capabilities of technology to help them with their listening. They can encourage students to use resources such as subtitles, transcripts, repetition, reference materials, and images to provide listening support. All of these tools help students to better understand the spoken language 
and to prepare for face-to-face -face conversations when these resources are not available.